crossover study, also referred to as a crossover trial, is a longitudinal study in which subjects receive a sequence of different treatments. While crossover studies can be observational studies, many important crossover studies are controlled experiments, which are discussed in this article. Crossover designs are common for experiments in many scientific disciplines, for example psychology, education, pharmaceutical science, and medicine. Randomized, controlled crossover experiments are especially important in healthcare. In a randomized clinical trial, the subjects are randomly assigned to different arms of the study which receive different treatments. When the randomized clinical trial is a repeated measures design, the same measures are collected multiple times for each subject. A crossover clinical trial is a repeated measures design in which each patient is randomly assigned to a sequence of treatments, including at least two treatments. Nearly all crossover designs have balance, which means that all subjects should receive the same number of treatments and that all subjects participate for the same number of periods. In most crossover trials, in fact, each subject receives all treatments. Statisticians suggest that designs have four periods, a design which allows studies to be truncated to three periods while still enjoying greater efficiency than the two-period design. However, the two-period design is often taught in non-statistical textbooks, partly because of its simplicity. Clinical trial protocol specifies the statistical analysis, the data are analyzed using the statistical method that was specified in the clinical trial protocol, which needs to have been approved by the appropriate institutional review boards and regulatory agencies before the trial could begin. Again, the clinical trial protocols specify the method of statistical analysis. Most clinical trials are analyzed using repeated measurements and other or mixed models that include random effects. In most longitudinal studies of human subjects, patients may withdraw from the trial or become lost to follow up. There are statistical methods for dealing with such missing data and censoring problems. An important method analyzes the data according to the principle of the intention to treat. Advantages a crossover study has two advantages over both a parallel study and a non-crossover longitudinal study. First, the influence of confounding covariates is reduced because each crossover patient serves as his or her own control. In a non-crossover study, even randomized, it is often the case that different treatment groups are found to be unbalanced on some covariates. In a controlled, randomized crossover designs, such imbalances are implausible. Second, optimal crossover designs are statistically efficient and so require fewer subjects than do non-crossover designs. Optimal crossover designs are discussed in the graduate textbook by Jones and Kenwood and in the review article by Stufkin. Crossover designs are discussed along with more general repeated measurements designs in the graduate textbook by Vomish and Chinchilli. Limitations and Disadvantages these studies are often done to improve the symptoms of patients with chronic conditions. For curative treatments or rapidly changing conditions, crossover trials may be infeasible or unethical. Crossover studies often have two problems. First is the issue of order effects, because it is possible that the order in which treatments are administered may affect the outcome. An example might be a drug with many adverse effects given first, making patients taking a second, less harmful medicine, more sensitive to any adverse effect. Second is the issue of carryover between treatments, which confounds the estimates of the treatment effects. In practice, carryover effects can be avoided with a sufficiently long washout period between treatments. However, the planning for sufficiently long washout periods does require expert knowledge of the dynamics of the treatment, which often is unknown, of course. Also, there might be a learning effect. This is important where you have controls who are naive to the intended therapy. In such a case for example you cannot make a group and learn a skill such as yoga and then act as a control in the second phase of the study. See also, notes. References, M. Bose and A. Day. Optimal crossover designs. World Scientific. ISBN 978-9812818423, D.E. Johnson. Crossover Experiments. Wires Comp Stat, 2, 
620-625. 1. Jones, Byron. Kenwood, Michael G. Design and Analysis of Crossover Trials. London, Chapman and Hall. ISBN A0412606402. Najafi Medi. Statistical Questions in Evidence-Based Medicine. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-262992-1, D. Ragavare and L. Paget. Repeated Measurements and Crossover Designs. Wiley. ISBN 978-1-118-70925-2, D. A. Ratkowski, M. A. Evans, and J. R. Aldridge. Crossover Experiments, Design, Analysis, and Application. Marcel Decker. ISBN 978-0824788926, Sen, S. Crossover Trials in Clinical Research, 2nd Edition. Wiley. ISBN 978-0-471-49653-3, Stufkin, J. Optimal Crossover Designs. Inosh, S. and Rao, C. A Design and Analysis of Experiments. Handbook of Statistics 13. North Holland PPA 63 Euro 90. ISBN A 0 444 82061 2 Vonish, Edward F. Chinchilli, Vernon G. Crossover Experiments. Linear and Nonlinear Models for the Analysis of Repeated Measurements. London, Chapman and Hall PPA 111 Euro 202. ISBN A 0824782488A.